This next demonstration is cross-country mobility. It, is, it runs a linear summation model. So right here we have three, three units, perhaps of vehicles or tanks, and these vehicles need to make their way to a target. So to analyze the best route, we're going to use a weighted overlay. And we're going to select some criteria that defines the most efficient path. For example, these vehicles cannot traverse 35 or more degrees. And we can rate slope, vegetation, and, and routing, and the parameters within them. So using the information, we can create a surface using those three layers to find out how costly each pixel is on the map. And this is a cost surface, so the, the green areas are the cheapest to traverse, the darker brown and red areas are more expensive. So from these three positions, what is the most efficient path to the target? So that's the most efficient path. We can move these around, turn off this, and again we can recalculate the most efficient path. Next is that we can generate a corridor. So this is the most efficient path, but what is the plus or minus 3% um, corridor that we can traverse? Right, so the, we just received um, the cost corridor from the server for three these three positions, and it might change the base map from ArcGIS Online mapping to ArcGIS Online imagery. Yeah. So the darker shade represents plus or minus one percent cost variation, and to the lightest color means three percent. So does that a Bing map or is that an ArcGIS Online map? This is ArcGIS Online. Okay.